Whatever you hold in your mind every day is what you'll experience in your life. This is the law of attraction. It's like gravity, a force that pulls things together just as gravity keeps planets orbiting the sun. The law of attraction links a person's beliefs and actions more powerful is the effect of the law of attraction in our surroundings. When we master it, it can change your reality all to together and bring to you great abundance and stability together. Let us unravel the mysteries of the law of attraction and unlock the secrets to creating a life filled with abundance, joy, and fulfillment. If you believe you can achieve your dreams, you're motivated to chase them. But if you think you can't, you won't take steps to reach them. The law of attraction works both ways, drawing your desires closer, but also drawing your insecurities. If you don't control them, manifesting our desires requires more than just passive wishing. It requires active participation and engagement with the world around us. When we bring our whole selves to everything we do, we infuse our actio, NS, with purpose and intention, creating a powerful force that propels us toward our goals. The law of attraction is heavily linked with the science behind mirror neurons. What's this phenomenon that affects things as small as our brain cells motivating us to change for the better? And how can we use this knowledge to attain any desire? The power of mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are a fascinating aspect of human neurobiology that sheds light on the interconnectedness of human experience. These specialized brain cells fire not only when we act but also when we obi, serve someone else performing the same action in essence. Mirror neurons enable us to mirror the experiences of others, allowing us to empathize with their emotions and intentions. For example, when we see someone smile, our mirror neurons fire, causing us to experience a similar sensation of happiness. Similarly, when we witness someone in pain, our mirror neurons activate triggering feelings of compassion and concern. The tricky part comes when you learn that these mirror neurons are also affected by the law of attraction. Imagine this, a room full of success, full and positive people sharing their goals, wins, and life stories. When you surround yourself with these people, your brain will mirror them too. This means that by immersing ourselves in an environment of success and positivity, we can cultivate positive habits and success in our own lives. It's as though we're tapping into a hidden reserve of potential within ourselves simply by being in the presence of those who embody the qualities we wish to develop additionally. Reading inspiring books, listening to motivational speakers and engaging in personal develop. Ment development activities can help boost our confidence and reinforce our belief in our abilities. Positive energy indeed generates more positive energy. But even more complex are the other pillars of the law of attraction. There are six and few people in the universe have mastered them in full. Today we'll learn the secrets behind them. Unwavering Desire First know that desire is the foundation of the law of attraction. If we don't desire anything, anything, we will not attract anything. This can be both an advantage and a disadvantage depending on your goals in Historica. L events, there are many examples of people who have overcome challenges and manifested their desires through sheer determination and perseverance. One such example is the story of Helen Keller, who overcame deafness and blindness to become a renowned author and activist. Keller's story is a testament to the power of resilience and belief in oneself to overcome life's obstacles and achieve success. It shows us how it's not enough to simply wish for something, one must cultivate a deep desire for it to manifest into reality. This is the fuel that propels us forward, are driving us to take inspired action toward our goals and aspirations. The idea that our inner world reflects our outer world is not merely wishful thinking, but a deep truth that has been echoed in various spiritual traditions and teaching ings according to Buddhist philosophy. Our actions, thoughts, and intentions create ripples in the fabric of reality, shaping the course of our lives and influencing the world around us. In essence, what we put out into the universe comes back to us much like a boomerang returning to its sender. Similarly, in the realm of Kwai and Tom Physics, there is evidence to suggest that our thoughts and intentions have a big impact on the world around us. 
the pioneering work of scientists such as Max Planck and Albert Einstein has revealed the dance between consciousness and matter, suggesting that we play a vital role in shaping reality. But perhaps nowhere is the power of the law of attraction more evident than in the realm of personal transformation and self-improvement. Countless people have experienced profound shifts in their lives by harnessing the principles of the law of attraction with ye. Her manifesting abundance, attracting love and relationships, or achieving their dreams and goals, still, why does the law of attraction seem to work wonders for some, but not so much for others? Many people struggle with feeling unmotivated during their day-to-day, -day, preventing them from manifesting their desires. They might even believe the law of attraction doesn't work precisely because of this, and then it ends up becoming a vicious cycle. You don't think the law of attraction works. Ancestors learned how a long time ago, and now will learn of their tactics to defeat the self-fulfilling prophecy, the law of attraction can empower self-sabotage. If we approach it with doubt or a scarcity mindset, without knowing our belief system might end up attracting the wrong sort of energy in the parable of the farmer and the seeds. It is not enough to scatter seeds randomly. They must be nurtured and tended to with care. The main obstacle is usually found deep within us, limiting beliefs. These beliefs often rooted in past experiences or societal, quickly, in the teachings of mindfulness and self-awareness, there is an emphasis on recognizing and challenging these limiting beliefs to create space for new possibilities to emerge, grow with openness and receptivity, and you'll begin to identify and reframe these negative thought patterns, replacing them with empowering beliefs that align with your desires. But that's not the only obstacle we're deconstructing today. Resistance to change can impede the manifestation process. Change can be uncomfortable and unfamiliar, leading many to resist the very transformation they seek in the teachings of Taoism. There is a concept known as Wu Wei, or effortless action which emphasizes the importance of yielding to the natural flow of life by surrendering the need for control and allowing life to unfold organically we can align ourselves with the currents of change and harness their transformative power. The law of attraction responds to the energy of our thoughts and emotions, so it's essential to be clear and specific about what we want to manifest in the parable of the genie and the lamp. The genie can only grant wishes that are specifically worded to be as clear as possible, similarly by clearly. By defining our desires and visualizing them with clarity and Detail we can activate the law of attraction and set in motion the forces needed to bring our dreams to fruition. The law of attraction responds not only to our conscious thoughts, but also to the underlying emotions and beliefs bell that accompany them. If there is a difference between what we think we want and what we truly believe we deserve, the law of attraction won't work as well. Moreover, Impatience and a lack of trust in the process will hinder the effectiveness of the law of attraction patient. C is a virtue after all, so how do we learn to trust the process? If we're not seeing tangible results in the beginning, be patient. Our desire for quick results is actually a result of our civilization's reward. W system. In our fast-paced society, we have become accustomed to instant gratification and quick fixes. However, true manifestation takes time and requires patience, perseverance, and faith. As we'll later discover, the law of attraction demands consistent effort and unwavering belief, even in the face of setbacks and delays in the parable of the bamboo tree. It takes years of nurturing and care before. The bamboo finally breaks through the surface and begins to grow rapidly, just as a seed takes time to germinate and grow into a flourishing plant. Our desires may require patience and nurturing before they come to fruition. The Chinese bamboo tree is renowned for its astonishing growth in the fifth year, earning it the nickname Miracle Plant. See how it all works out in the end, but its rapid growth is not a miracle, but the result of years of patience and consistent nurturing. This is where trust Biko. Mi's essential patience is not simply about waiting passively. It's about having faith in the process and trusting that the universe is working in our favor, just as a gardener trusts that their efforts will yield a bountiful harvest in due time. 
we too must trust in the unseen forces at work in our lives, allow the law of attraction to unfold naturally, and manifest your desires in the most perfect timing. Similarly, when we practice patience, the out outcomes we desire may not materialize immediately, but with perseverance, we will eventually reap the rewards of O. Oh, your efforts in many cases, these rewards exceed our expectations, proving to be plentiful and immensely satisfying. And a key part of this is conceptualization and imagination. These two are continuous efforts we must make while we're waiting for our desires to manifest. But make no mistake, these two are trickier to put into practice than what they might might seem conceptualization and imagination. First know that the law of attraction is like the law of gravity. Nothing in the universe can overcome it. No matter how big or small, whether you believe in it or not, it will affect you, so why not use it for your benefit? This is where conceptualization comes in. It starts with setting clear intentions and defining our goals with clarity and specificity. By knowing what we want to achieve and why it is important to us, we create a roadmap for success that guides our actions and decisions by concentrating our energy on our next significant success. We reclaim our power to shape our destiny. We can dictate our emotions and make decisions that align with our deepest desires. But be careful of how you imagine things as our minds often wander to the past or toward the future consumed by worries and regrets. We think of past mistakes replaying them in our minds like a broken record. Or we worry about what the future may hold consumed by anxiety and uncertainty. But in truth, neither dwelling on the past nor worrying about the future ignites change in our lives. Consider for a moment the parable of the two monks. One monk spends his days lamenting past failures and missed opportunities, while the other monk is consumed by worries about the future. Both monks are trapped in a cycle of negative thinking, unable to break free from the shackles of their minds. It is only when they learn to live in the present moment, focusing on the here and now, that they find true peace and fulfillment. This concept is echoed in the teachings of mindfulness and meditation, where the practice of being present in the moment is repeated as a pathway to inner peace and transformation. By learning to quiet the mind and cultivate a sense of presence, we free ourselves from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future allow we, Nung U.S., to fully engage with the richness of life in the present moment. It is not enough to simply wish for change or dream of a better future. We must actively work towards our goals and aspirations with diligence and determination in the words of the ancient Chinese philosopher La Zuo. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Each action we take in the present moment is like a seed planted in the fertile soil of the future paving the way for the realization of our dreams and aspirations. But how do we begin to take action in the present moment, T? He power of incantations still. There's a secret tactic used by ancient philosophers and magicians to bring forth their conceptualization, the power of incantation. These are similar but not the same as affirmations. They're a transformative practice that requires us to embody the mean behind the words, they compel us to use the energy of both our minds and bodies, aligning our thoughts and intentions with our actions. By combining the power of these two energies, we amplify the effectiveness of the law of attraction, creating a powerful force for manifesting our desires into reality. Imagine yourself standing tall with your feet firmly planted on the ground as you declare your intentions with conviction and purpose. With each word spoken, you feel the energy ceasing through your veins, igniting a fire within you that propels you toward your goals. It's as though you're tapping into a hidden reservoir of power within yourself, awakening the dormant forces of creation that lie dormant within in the teachings of various spiritual traditions. There is an emphasis on the power of sound and vibration to create change. Mantra. As chants and prayers are used as tools for transformation, harnessing the vibration, ational energy of the spoken word to manifest intentions into reality. 
Similarly, incantations harness the power of language and intention to shift our consciousness and align ourselves with the flow of abundance. But beyond just speaking words into the atmosphere, incantations require us to embody the meaning behind the words. It's not enough to recite positive affirmations. We must truly believe in the power of our intentions and act as if our desires have already been real. Zed, this requires us to tap into the energy of our bodies to feel the sensations of success and abundance coursing through us as we declare our intentions to the universe. And with that, we can start setting up what's known as confident focus, a strategy used in the law of attraction. Confident focus. Confident focus is not merely a state of mind, but a dynamic practice that requires us to channel our energy and attention to toward our goals with unwavering determination. It's about honing our mental faculties and directing them towards a single purpose. And with clarity, when we approach our goals with confidence and conviction, we send a powerful message to the universe that we are ready to receive the blessings and opportunities that come our way. It's like we're stepping into our power and claiming our rightful place as co-creators of our destiny by defining what we want to accomplish and breaking it down into smaller, actionable steps. We create a roadmap for success that guides our focus and attention. This clarity allows us to direct our energy towards the tasks that will move us closer to our objectives. Uh, eliminating distractions and maximizing our productivity. Another key strategy for cultivating a confident focus is to prioritize self-care. Taking care of our physical, mental, and emotional well-being is essential for maintaining peak performance and resilience in the face of challenges. This way, we recharge our batteries and cultivate the energy and focus needed to pursue our goals with confidence and determination. Instead of viewing obstacles as insurmountable barriers, we can see them as opportunities for learning and growth by embracing challenges and setbacks as part of the journey towards success we build. Resilience and perseverance allowing us to stay focused and motivated. Even in the face of challenges, our beliefs shape our reality. So try to maintain a positive outlook and focus on the possibilities rather than dwelling on limitations. By adopting a growth mindset, we view challenges as opportunities for growth and learning rather than obstacles. This shift in perspective allows us to approach life with optimism and confidence, knowing that we have the power to over-overcome any challenge that come. That's our way, but confident focus is not just about mental discipline. It's also about embodying a sense of self-assurance and belief in our abilities. It's the foundation for the next step in mastering the law of attraction. Developing an unshakable belief. Unshakable belief. We are all works in progress and it's natural to experience doubts and insecurities from time to time. Instead of being hard on ourselves for our perceived shortcomings, we can practice self-compassion and treat ourselves with kindness and understanding by embracing our imperfections and decelebrating our successes. We cultivate a deep sense of self-worth and unshakable belief in ourselves. Belief without action is merely wishful thinking. So it's crucial to take concrete steps towards our objectives by setting clear goals, creating a plan of action, and taking consistent steps toward our dreams. We demonstrate our commitment to ourselves and our belief in our ability to succeed. Each small success builds upon the next, reinforcing our confidence and strengthening our belief in our capabilities. Remember where focus goes, energy flows. This simple yet prof, own statement holds the key to unlocking our potential and manifesting our desires. It applies to every aspect of your life. It's only when we channel all our energy towards that singular a goal that we set in motion, the forces of the universe allowing the law of attraction to work its magic rather than becoming ENs snared by the shadows of our past. We should direct our attention toward the boundless possibilities that lie ahead together. Let us embark on this journey of self-discovery and transformation as we unlock the limitless potential within us. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.